Hello guys, hope you have been having a great day. In this video we will be learning about the two different types of reflection that occur. So, the first type of reflection is the specular reflection. It's called the specular reflection. So, before we start off with uh, this thing called specular reflection, I want to ask you a question. Every object, it reflects light. Otherwise, we won't be able to see the object itself. So, when you look into the mirror, you see an image. You see something that is, uh, something that is reflected. And when you look at an object, like a book, a paper, or anything, you see the object. So, specular reflection is nothing uh, but you'll understand this better after we're done with this so consider the light source here and the incident ray the reflected ray and this is the normal this is the reflected ray this is the incident ray and this is the normal and you guys know about all this that uh, both these angles are equal when this is a perfect mirror surface so so this is the perfect example of a specular reflection so in the specular reflection the ray is not scattered so, for example, uh, when you uh, point out a torch into a mirror, you, uh, you won't be aware of the torch. I mean, when you hold the torch itself, you will definitely be aware of that. But when you, uh, you know, uh, when a torch is placed in, um, focused into a mirror and the light gets reflected, but you won't be aware of the light source unless you are in the path of the reflected ray. So when you are in the path of the reflected ray, you will see light. You will see light, but you won't be able to see the light source because the light is blinding you. That is specular reflection. But if something like a bottle or a, a book is placed somewhere in the other room, you will be able to see that book or something with the help of the mirror. So even that is reflection. So this is the first type of reflection, that is specular reflection. In this, the light source is this, and say this is the eye of the observer or whatever. So the only thing you have to realize here is that the ray is not scattered the reflection is not scattered it is single so if for every one incident ray there is a one reflected ray and specular reflection occurs for um, uh, you can tell this mirrors or uh, highly polished metals Right, or like I even see uh, a reflection in cars, um, black cars, and you know dark colored cars. They they do give a good amount of reflection. Anyway, the second type of reflection we're gonna talk about is diffuse reflection. In diffuse reflection, the reflection is actually scattered so this is my incident ray and this is the normal my reflection however is not a single ray but a number of rays scattered in different directions these are all reflected rays
this is the incident ray and this is the normal so a single light source can fall on a surface and scatter itself so the reflected ray is not is not a single ray but it is scattered uh, so this kind of reflection is called diffuse reflection uh, you can call it so because the light here is getting diffused it's getting scattered so uh, can you give examples of this it could be a book like it could be a, uh, it could be any other substance like diffuse reflection happens on a wide number of subjects right so these are the two types of uh, reflections and it is important to know the types of reflections because they help us in something called light control light control is a burning topic now because in most of the restaurants and most of the movie theaters and all the lighting is given a lot of importance uh, because that itself gives you the ambience where uh, where the customer feels it where the customer feels the presence of uh, you know the ambience and the goodness or the eliteness so the different types of lighting like the direct lighting indirect lighting etc you'll be learning about those things so all these things are based upon these two types of reflections so that's it for this video hope you have found it informative and hope you have enjoyed it thank you and have a lovely day